not going crazy. Most of the rooms had three beds. As soon as one girl would leave, another would show up. We were discouraged from spending time alone in our rooms during the day. They felt it wouldn't be good for us to dwell on our situation. We might start thinking too much. And of course, that idle hands thing. So plenty of diversion was offered. There was the chapel where we were encouraged to visit for quiet contemplation, a common area where we could read or write letters, where we'd get our mail call every morning. Letters were addressed with your first name and last initial, since no one was supposed to know your full identity. The TV room was off limits until after dinner, and your homework had to be done first. There was an arts and crafts area set up in the basement. It was kind of spooky down there, and the washers and dryers were going constantly. In school, I had gotten out of gym half the year. Too shy, so the showers were here were a problem, and the plumbing made rackety noises all the time. Between morning duties and schoolwork, pretending to contemplate in the chapel, my day was plenty full. It was at night that the diversions gave way to the crying.